Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you guys are having a nice weekend. I just quickly filmed this makeup look for you guys. It is a talk through makeup video um makeup look. It is a talk through makeup tutorial, so I am explaining step by step what I'm doing throughout the tutorial. Um but it is just every day simple glam um, i'm sorry if i sound a bit off my voice i think i'm losing it or is breaking or something or i'm catching a cold it's actually really hurting but yeah um, i'm sorry if i sound a bit off in this video it is because my voice is really hurting me but yeah so i just really quickly filmed this for you guys i hope you guys enjoy it and if you want to know how i got this look then please carry on watching so uh, the first thing I do is um, moisturize my face. If I can find my moisturizer, that is, guys. The moisturizer that I use is the Embrylease, um moisturizer, and I really like this for kind of hydrating the skin, and it also works really well as a primer um, for your foundation I have used it on its own without a primer before I did foundation and I really really did like it but yeah so I'm just gonna put this into my skin and moisturize it because that is the first thing I do because I really like it to kind of sink into the skin while I do my brows and stuff um, like on if I'm gonna be wearing makeup and I don't have work I tend not to I'm just thinking about rose nose ring I tend not to go too heavy with the makeup like, it just depends on my mood wash out my brows I am trying to currently grow them out so when I went and got them waxed the other day I always feel like I breathe so heavy every time I'm recording I just feel like I can't even control my own breathing it's so ridiculous but yeah anyways moving on i'm just gonna brush out my brows i feel like this is a must when you want to put your brows in damn my flipping face is looking so hairy guys <clears throat> and i feel like i'm losing my voice or i'm falling ill either one my mac eyebrow pencil in the color spike I don't know if this is gonna focus it should do just like to start off filling my brows in with this um especially because it's not going to give me too much definition to the brows just because i just want a slight definition to the brow I'm just gonna brush my brows out. I like to kind of brush the product up at the front of the brows so it's not just sitting in one place. You see, it's already made such a huge difference. I think I'm gonna go in with a bit of eyebrow gel and for that I'm gonna use my Anastasia pomade in the shade chocolate because I don't want anything too dramatic I'm gonna use chocolate because it is a lighter shade than sex and product and just define I'm just gonna place it in the areas I want just a bit more definition which is probably like the arch of my brow but the front of the brow, I'm like, I'm gonna keep it like really light. And the tail of my brows. My 
Kevin Aquan Concealer in SX08. But I'm also going to mix it with a bit of the Anastasia Concealer in 5.0. I'm just going to take it on my MAC 195 Concealer Brush. I'm just going to define the brows. I'm just going to um, define the brows. I'm just gonna get a um, Zoriva Lux crease brush and I'm just gonna blend that concealer out. And I'm literally going to blend, 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 blend because I don't want it to be too harsh. Because obviously I'm not going to be wearing much eye makeup. gonna use the violet Voss palette and from here I'm just gonna use the shade are you kidding me which is this shade here and with that shade I'm gonna well I'm gonna use it on my Mac 224 this is a really fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna apply this all over the lid as an all over lid color and literally that's the only eyeshadow I apply like if I'm just doing a quick everyday makeup A flat shader brush from Zoeva, which is the 234, and I'm just going to take Crystal and Proof from the same palette, and I'm going to mix these two together, and I'm just going to literally apply it on the arch of my brow, like just right there, and just blend it out. I'm not going to put too much. It's very subtle. I don't want it to be very dramatic. Yeah, so just like that, and then. I'm gonna go to just coat in my lashes, lashes with some mascara. I'm just gonna use the MAC mascara in, in Extreme Dimension. And literally just like put the tiniest amount because I'm gonna put some lashes on. I have like the worst face when it comes to doing mascara. Like my mascara face is so ugly guys. So the lashes that I'm going to take are my MAC 48, which I have used before. They just look like this. I really find them like a really nice natural pair of lashes that can go with any look, especially when you want like a toned down look. It just kind of brings something to the eye if you don't have that much eye makeup on. I'm just gonna kind of let that sit onto the lash line and let it dry properly before I start messing with it. But yeah, that's literally the eye look. That's all I literally do. Um, some days I won't even put lashes on. I would just put mascara on, but I felt like putting lashes on today. And then straight away go onto the face. <coughs> and I'm gonna prime my face with Hangover Primer. I really like this primer guys, I feel like it's so hydrating on the face and I think it has, yeah it's with coconut water so I think it's good for the very back is hurting like crazy, I'm just gonna put this all over the face, like recently I have been getting really bad leg pains and back pains and stuff and I don't know what to do about it. I feel like I just need to go for an all over body massage or something, like to a spa or something. But yeah, anyways, I want to use the professional um, because that other primer doesn't really have anything, like it doesn't minimize your pores and stuff. I always go in with this one around like my T zone area and stuff. And I use this to minimize my pores. 
So I'm going to use my face and body from MAC in C6. Sometimes I find that C6 can be a bit too pink for me. But I try and make it work anyways. And with this foundation, I usually just apply it with my fingers. Because I just feel like it works a lot better. So I just like rub it into the skin. Concealer, and I am gonna um, conceal the areas that I want a bit more coverage on, which is gonna be my under eyes, around my mouth, and. Yeah, I'm also going to cream contour and I'm going to be using the Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in Medium Deep from MAC. Just look like this. I'm not going to colour correct today because, yeah, I'm just not. So I'm just going to use the uh, top shade to kind of cancel out the darkness underneath my eyes. Then I'm just going to go in with the bottom shade, which is a bit of a yellow shade. I don't know what it's called. Oh, it's a rich yellow colour. And I'm just going to put this on top of the uh, place we just put it on now. Like that. I'm just going to go in with the two darker shades. I think it is NC4, no, NW40 and NW43. And I'm just going to use these shades to contour. Yeah, yeah, I do I'm going to do my nose and the top. They're looking a bit crazy now. So I'm just going to get my beauty blender and blend out the lighter shades. So everywhere I've highlighted with. Blend out the cream contour product. I'm just going to use the Soviva Lux face paint brush. I'm just going to go in with the Real Techniques brush. I don't know what it's called, the name's rubbed off, but it's just an angle fluffy brush. Go in with Max Pep and Prime in Light Boost, and I'm just gonna do a little bit more highlighting. This may be like a bit too much makeup for some of you um, for a day, daily basis kind of thing. But I honestly don't wear makeup every day. If anything, on my days off, I really like just letting my skin breathe. So I'm just going to blend that out with the Beauty Blender. This is just going to give like, just a bit more highlight. If I like, especially if you're not wearing that much makeup, it's good to kind of like brighten those areas of the face so you don't look. I'm just going to set everything in place and I'm just going to use my Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder to take it in my damp Beauty Blender. Making sure I don't have any creases before I set that area. I'm gonna bake with this as well. Take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deepest and I'm going to take my Real Techniques Blush Brush and I'm just going to take that and warm up my skin with it. 
and I like using this as a transition shade for my contour shade and light palette from Kat Von D and I'm going to use it on my Morphe M501 brush and I'm going to use these two shades here and I'm just going to define my cheekbone a little bit so I'm just also going to contour my nose I'm just going to use this number 7 eyeshadow blending brush and I'm going to go into the same shades that I used to contour my cheeks with and I'm just going to define my nose really slightly and whatever's left on the beauty blender I'm just going to take it on the sides of my nose I'm just going to brush off the powder underneath my contour and underneath my eyes as well the Jaclyn Hill Becca palette and I'm gonna go into this shade blusher here which is called Amaretto I think which is this shade I'm gonna take it on as a Riva 127 angled brush I'm just gonna apply this on my cheeks so I'm just going to use a MAC Bittersweet Lip Liner in with my Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in the shade Trendsetter Feline Black Eye Pencil from MAC and put this on my waterline and my um, top lash line inside. Oh, that bit. Just gonna cut my bottom lashes with a max upward mascara. I really like this one for bottom lashes because it's very small and it coats every single lash I spray myself with some fix plus just to take that powdery effect away and kind of just make it a bit more less powdery basically of MAC soft and gentle first that's the shade I'm gonna apply first with my Morphe M510 brush Zoeva Detail Shader Brush and I'm gonna take some soft and gentle and just put it on the tip of my nose Mariah Carey uh, my Mimi highlighter from MAC which is like this really deep bronzy one and I'm gonna take it on my fan brush from Sigma the strobing fan and I'm just gonna use this and just put where I just put soft and gentle so I'm just going to basically mix them two highlights together. These I'm just going to go in with some Makeup Forever Mist and Fix setting spray. All over the face. So I just went and changed my scarf. If you guys are wondering, my scarf is from Verona Collection. I'll leave it down in the description box. Uh, below for you guys if you guys did want to go purchase it but yeah it's just a um, chiffon scarf I think in the shade mushroom I think I'm not sure but I will leave it in the comment section I'm in the description box below but yeah so this is my everyday simple glam if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and yeah make sure you subscribe to my channel also I just want to say hi to all my new subscribers and um, a big thank you for uh, to you guys for subscribing to my channel 
um, I really appreciate it there is something in my eye so I really enjoyed filming this for you guys hopefully I see you guys on my next video and yeah I'm just gonna go take this makeup off now and jump in the shower and then go to bed and wake up for work tomorrow so yeah take care guys enjoy this